Hi, this video is for driving instructors to show you how to enroll your learners onto the site so that they can access all of the resources. Now there's two ways to um, get to the particular area where you add members. So once you've logged into your account so that you're already in there, you can either scroll towards the bottom of the page until you reach the little menu down here and you can see there's an area that says manage group members. So you can click on there there, and that will take you to the relevant area part of the site or alternatively you can use the main menu up here if you click in the main menu scroll down until you see account click on account and then if you're in your account you can see the area where you can change your user profile and underneath that is manage group members so exactly the same thing uh, just two ways of finding it so we're going to click on manage group members lovely and we get to the the area for managing your group um, what will happen is as you list your learners or pupils then they will populate this table here with just the details of the fact that they're on your ADI plan, their first name, their last name and the date that they were created. And when you find that you've got quite a lot of people on there, you can always do a search in this search box here. And you can delete members from here as well. So if you've chosen the plan for 50 pupils in a year, and then you find that some of those early pupils that you enrolled uh, uh, when you first started your account have perhaps passed their test and they're happily driving, um, and you're getting towards the, you know, you're, you're filling up your 50 pupils, then you can always go on and just delete those from this area um, so that you can free up space for new pupils if you don't want to use the upgrades to have more pupils. Okay, so we want to add a new member. So we're just going to click on new member here. And this takes us to the new member part of the page and it automatically fills in that you're on an ADI plan. Um, you need to put in the details of your pupil's email. You need to create a password for them. So the password, um, I would suggest that you keep it simple. You might want to have it something to do with your name or your driving school name um, so that every time your pupils are logging on, then it's just a little reminder that it's you who gave them access to this. Um, or just keep it as simple as you like. It's completely up to you. Um, there are no restrictions. And your pupils are able to change their password to something more memorable later on if they want to. Um, you also need to fill in their first name, their last name, and then the same as you would have saw, seen when you registered yourself. There's a box for organisation, there's a box for comment. They're just standard parts of the membership part of the site. So, um, so it's up to you if you want to utilise those or not. Um, and then you'll click on Save Member. So go on quickly and add somebody new. So my new pupil is an example at confident drivers dot co dot uk and then we're going to scroll down we need to give them a password so i'm just going to make this one test and then have to retype the password so again test their first name was Anne. their last name was example I'm not going to fill anything in for the organisation or the comment. So I'm going to click done and then I'm going to click on the save member button. And fingers crossed I did that all correctly on the phone. There we go. Okay, so 
we get a nice little message to say group member was successfully saved so that's good and if we scroll a little bit further down there we are we can see our new person so on an ADI plan their name is Anne example and the date that we created them so now that they've been created the system will automatically send the person an email to let them know that you've enrolled them onto the system and it will tell them that the email that they've received is their actually their username and that you are to send them their password and that's it it's as simple as that if you need to delete somebody, you can see there's a little cross by the side. So if you make a mistake or you find that you want to free up some pupil numbers um, later on down the line as people pass their tests and leave, then you can easily do that just by clicking on the little cross. Okay, I hope you found that helpful and I'll see you in the next one.